Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have explained about how to do model setup, how to run it, and how to get uh, result from it. Now in this video, I am going to show how to do manual calibration. So first of all, we have to understand why it is needed to do calibration. The calibration means to do uh, to change the parameter uh, of the simulated model uh, to match with the real real catchment means we are going to match the property match the characteristic of the simulated model uh, with the real catchment model so first of all uh, we have to understand the different parameter of the catchment I have prepared the list of parameter okay these are the sum of the sensitive parameters and I have collected it in the list and I have uh, <coughs> I have shown here the definition uh, the range value and uh, data file all the important information in one list and to get uh, to understand more about this parameter uh, you can <coughs> uh, download one file so uh, type here sort input parameter then after go here then these are all the parameters for example you want to get the parameter of a uh, of soil then go here you can find here the all input parameter for the soil then other similarly if you want to get uh, basin parameter you can find here okay in the uh, and you know you can also download from here this document contains all types of the parameter so first of all we have to understand the, those all parameters and this characteristic and then after I have also I have collected some of the parameter which are frequently used and frequently used for the calibration and these are the sensitive parameter Now moving to the calibration. Then after if, uh, then after you have to prepare one Excel sheet in this format. First of all, keep here date in monthly or in daily in which uh, you want to do calibration. I have prepared in the monthly form. Then then in the next column, you have to give the observe discharge means uh, I have used a discharge data of uh, Gauri Ghat station which lies here and this data you can collect from your department I have collected the, this from the hydrological uh, department of uh, Nepal So I am going to calibrate this station. Okay, I have prepared in the monthly form. Then after you need the simulated discharge. The simulated discharge you, you will get from the SWAT modeling. For that open your SWAT model which you have run. And this is a SWAT model. And after running this model has provided us a soft basin which is a 27 soft basin and this uh, the the station where we want to do the calibration it lies in the soft basin 26 so we have to calibrate this 26 basin okay uh, now moving further okay prepare in this format then after go to the parameter here for example you want to do you want to ch change the parameter value for the CH and to 
th endo means many coefficient and it uh, come under the data file of rte and its recommended value is 0 to 1 and this is the initial value it means default value so you have to now change this parameter for that go to your SWOT model folder here and then after open this okay then you have to find the RTE here it is it come under the file of RTE then go here RTE so which basin you are going to calibrate that is 26 select 26 okay this is a 26 then after which parameter you are going to change uh, ch and 2 right ch here it is ch and 2 okay copy paste The original default value is a 0 0.04. I have already changed so it is in it is in a 0 0.5. The original value was 0 0.05. So if you want to change this value, the recommended value is 0 to 1. So for for example, put here 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.2, then copy paste here. 0 0.2 value and then after save it after saving that cross the cross now you have to run the model we don't have to do anything here just go here edit SWOT input then rewrite SWOT input which uh, which file you have changed you have changed RT so just select RT then write file okay then cancel then you have to run your model similarly do the same process okay then go here then swat output you need this this and then after import file to the database okay give the name here ch and to you have provided 0 0.2 value so right here then save simulation okay then after go to your result for your result go to the scenario then after this ch and to 0 2 you have then after go here now select the basin 26 select the year I have uh, taken the year from 2000 to 2014 from 2000 to 2014 so select here 2002 okay then after this is your discharge then do copy and paste here This is ch and 2 value is 0 0.2 then after do this copy and paste here okay and you have to also make a graph from this information like I have made here 
just select it and then go to insert and do, then make graph from here it will be like this so from this graph we can see how much this uh, hydrograph has been matched this, uh, this blue is observed and this uh, red is uh, simulated you can see from here this uh, hydrograph uh, are somewhat good but here the base flow is very low for the simulated discharge so after seeing this graph you have to select the parameter you have to also do find the value of a correlation for the correlation you have to uh, for which year you want to do the calibration for example you you also can do calibration from 2000 to 2014 but uh, you can also see here the graph this uh, 2009 to 2010 these two graph are a bit uh, seems good and these are also seems good so i have selected 0.0, 0 no, 2009 to 2010 for that what you have to do uh, right here c o r r this formula then after you want to do from 2009 to 2010 then you have to see here 2009 right then select here 2009 to 2010 okay select here then after do comma mm, then again select the another value okay after selecting it then do enter you will get this correlation value if your correlation value is uh, greater than 0 0.6 then it is acceptable Uh, its uh, higher value is the uh, one so so the higher the value the result is more good here uh, I, I have got 0 0.83 it is also acceptable and a good result and you have to also see the graph also and you have to see the R value <laughs> for example here here the base flow is very low so you have to think uh, which parameters should be changed to increase the base flow so let's see here what could be what could be done okay let's change this this value so while available water storage capacity of soil layer in the sort uh, there are two types of a parameter one is a value and one is a ratio and this ratio value goes varies and uh, in the here for the cs2 we can just took the value but for but for the varies you have to took it in a ratio value for example let's check it uh, soil this value come under this soil so go to cross here again go to your sort database uh, this is find soil okay select the sub base in 26 what we have we want to change this soil copy put here this is the AWC one. You have to also do for AW swell AW C two copy and copy paste here. Okay its recommended value is 0 0.1 so so 
we, we can consider okay 0 0.2 okay for there 0 0.2 but we cannot write here 0 0.2 we have to do multiplication zero point two okay similarly do here you have to do multiplication point two okay now paste now paste this value to your database paste ok similarly to here copy paste ok then save it then again go to edit rewrite what you have changed you have changed file then rewrite file ok cancel then run again model and go to output what you have changed COS file AWC with what value 0 0.2 okay then go to your result SWOT model then go to scenario go to here choose the year So in this way you have to do the calibration, you have to change the parameter and you have to see the graph, hydrograph and your correlation value. You can also use the other uh, correlation uh, statistical parameter like the NH bias correction whatever there is. Uh, so you have to do this until or unless you get the good result. After getting the good result, that is your final result, and from that you can do the further analysis for the other basins also. So now this is the end of the my uh, my session. If you want to know more about the all parameter and you want to know the meaning of the uh, meaning and concept of those parameter, you can um, you can do comment uh, below. In the comment box I will make another video on it so thank you thank you so much